Okay, so now we want to try to graph a piecewise function, and this is where the fun comes in. We're going to use a table of values, and so we have, first of all, this first part of the table of values. Um, we'll just do that, x, f of x. So the first part, I have to have, I go by the restriction here, x has to be less than or equal to 1. So think of numbers less than or equal to 1. And then negative 2, 0, and 1. You're always going to pick the boundary, okay? You have to do that because you can't pick every point in the real numbers. So you have to go up to, whether it includes it or not, that'll determine whether it's an open dot or a closed dot, but you have to include it. All right, now here's what we do if we're in that range, if we're less than or equal to 1. We just put in x and add 2. It's a linear function. So you put in two, negative 2, you get 0. You put in 0, you get 2. And you put in 1, you get 3. So that was like negative 2 plus 2, 0 plus 2. This is where these numbers are coming, and 1 plus 2. You're using this right here. Okay, those ordered pairs we can graph. So negative 2, 0, 0, 2, um, 1, 3, and it looks like that. Now, it's looking linear. It's going like this, and it's going to stop at that solid dot at 1, 3. This is a closed dot. Why is it closed? Because of the equal to, okay? Because it can equal, it can equal 1, okay? All right, so hopefully that part makes sense. You don't go past the 1 because this restriction is just for x values that are less than or equal to 1. Now we're going to do the bottom part. Here's x, here's f of x, and now this is for numbers that are greater than 1, but I still have to include the 1. This will be an open dot because it can't equal 1, but it could equal 1.1 or 1.2 or something like that. So, you know, everything right up to the 1, or right after the 1, I should say, um, but just not the 1. So you're going to make that an open dot. Now, what do you get out if you put in an x for one, an x of one? You get out four. And then you can pick other numbers that are bigger than one, two, three, whatever you want. Um, but what am I always going to get out with this function? Four. <laughs> so it looks like that. So the input's greater than one, but the output is always four in this bottom portion. Okay. So I can graph those, 1, 4, but it's going to be an open dot. And then it's going to be, whoops, 2, 4, 3, 4, and so on. So it looks like that. So it's an increasing function, function up to 1, and then it's a constant function after that. Um, that's what the graph looks like. It's really important that we do the open dot and the closed dot correctly. By the way, this covers all real numbers because... Um, our domain was all real numbers. Anything less than or equal to 1 and anything greater than 1, that's all real numbers. I can't fill in the dot here. It can't be a closed dot because then you it wouldn't pass the vertical line test. It wouldn't be a function. So um, it needs to be an open dot there. It has like a little jump in it. Okay. But anyway, that's how you graph a piecewise function. You do each piece. Now you can have two pieces. You can have three pieces. You can have four pieces. It's just I've never... I've seen one with a four before, but um, anyway, a lot of times there's just two or three, but that's a piecewise function and how you graph it. And sometimes they're really different and they're kind of cool to look at. Okay.